All right, so here I have my uh, Komatsu PC45R. Um, I believe it's like a 96 to 98 in there is when they made those. Um, and I had some hydraulic leaks, uh, you know, coming out of here. So right here is gonna be the access panel for all the hydraulic um, hoses, the distribution center outside of engine hydraulic hoses um, or hoses in general. Um, anything that's coming off the claw um, down from the handles, all the hoses are routed through this box down here into this, this panel right here. First thing you wanna do is take off these two bolts down here and then you'll have this panel removed first follow it down you'll have six more going straight down right there and then you'll on top you'll have one more here and one more here and then you start from the front where this weather stripping is pull it outwards and because it's tucked in behind this panel here out and then slide it out like that then you have all your main lines the lines that busted on this particular model uh, because this was just hanging here laying down like this um, the line right here was wrapped in like a half circle and it was rubbing up against this metal here so it frayed it and it was just shooting out causing that whole puddle um, and then it was routed weird as well it was going underneath this piece of metal so it would have frayed back here as well um, then we have two more in the rear that we removed they were just rigged from previous owner so we took those out we're gonna have those redone um, then obviously this is gonna bolt right back up here with these two up out of the elements um, that's really it on how to access this panel um, reverse steps to put it back together and is it a good idea to keep all the hoses from touching certain so any, things? Just, you just don't want them touching anything metal. Uh, it's just rubber um, with braided steel on the inside. So if this gets nicked or starts to get nicked from the constant vibration, then it's going to start squirting out because the, the, the metal lining on the inside is not going to protect it from anything. Um, and then you never really want to bend it. See, like this one right here, that's a little nicked as well. And it's from this laying on it like that you can see that yeah so that one may we may want to replace as well um but that's definitely from this touching this metal right here so um uh, yeah just you want to make sure that all your hoses uh, are away from any cornered metal any soft metal like this is, is okay i would put some type of mat down you know just so it's not on it uh, on the metal because then all the dirt and grime it, uh, constant vibration these machines run for hours so um you know eventually they're, they're gonna they're gonna bust so, then, so hey uh if you guys could go ahead and click the like button um appreciate any uh feedback any questions you might have post them on there and uh if you want to go ahead and subscribe also i'll keep uh, putting some videos out there hope you guys have a great day